Oh, I just one shot at the batting at her. The traitor's gone? No. No. God, no, 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 no. Too many iguanas. Hey guys, so I just farmed the bamboo island in between these two episodes and I really wish I had done it while recording because the bamboo island was awesome. I don't know if I searched the whole thing when we did the, uh, the stone island last time, but the bamboo island was amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of the stuff away and then we're going to go back because uh, there is some really cool stuff that they added. I really like the nature of how they set up the zones it is a um it's different than what i'm used to and i i like it. okay so we're home and let me show you guys what i got so i got you know obviously a lot of bamboo that's what i was going for was the bamboo but i also got a ton of palm logs and uh, i got yeah, just a bunch of stuff I, I can't wait to show you guys i got two pairs of pants um a lot of really good stuff so we're gonna we got go, gonna go ahead and uh Craft a bunch of this stuff. Let's make that go. And then, okay, I need to get to carpenter level two. Okay, well, we'll come back for that. Uh, ooh, we can make a wooden bow. You know what? I'm going to make a bow. That sounds fun. We'll make a bow. Uh, there's Tall Peter. <laughs> you see how fast he like, came in? <laughs> okay, calm down, Tall Peter. Oh, man. Okay, let's put everything away. I am going to... We need a lot of this stuff to... Oh, I love this. It just goes straight into my box. I don't even have to deal with it. Tall Peter puts it away for me. This is awesome. Okay, so um, in order to... Oh, wait, I already have it. I got it from the, the zone. There we go. We finished it. Dovecote building. Now you will receive news on how to find the sailors that, be, that are being kept by the black spot. Ooh. Ooh. Awesome. So happy to know that. Okay. Um, great. Go back to Sailor. Track quest. Complete. Goods were delivered to your inbox. Great. Track quest. Training completed. And then the dove coat. Oh, sweet. We've got uh, three days and seven hours. Rumor has it that a pirate named Lunatic Radnor is bothering the local merchants and pirates. Our reconnaissance says that his lair is somewhere around here. Find his base and show him what it means to violate a pirate's oath. You can find him in Stone Island or Bamboo Island. Okay, except that's where we're going anyways. Perfect. We're going to go to Bamboo Island. Okay, I do. I'm going to bring a little bit more stuff. You know, I have two pairs of pants. We're just going to wear one of them for funsies. And um, actually, let's see if I can craft some stuff. Let's see. Oh, craft that. That's easy. Craft that. Perfect. Normal. Nah, that's fine. Okay, well, that gives us a little bit more clothing. Make us a little bit more. Uh, Makes a a little bit harder to kill. And uh, let's bring some healing over time, 15. Healing over time, 15. Cooked meat. There we go. All right. I'll uh, I'll save. Oh, I love it. I love that they just bring it back to the, bring it to storage for me. I love it. I love the the way they did that. Use a raft. Okay, you can use the raft. Okay, great. Okay, event. The trader has sent you a notice. He definitely should have some nice goods for exchange. Oh, cool. Show me. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm interested in what the trader has, but I'm a little bit more interested in my quest. Can I dispatch a sailor there? No. All right. Let's send a sailor 
Okay, I don't want to send a sailor to the yellow zone. He might die. I don't know how that works yet, but... Uh, okay, there should be... You know what? I'm going to send this my sailor to the rock zone. And uh, this time I'm going to send... Tall Peter. Let's try it. Dispatch. Okay. Sailor can dispatch for the looting after he finishes work at the bench. Okay, sure. Get your work get your work done. Get your chores done. And then go. We'll dispatch soon. Perfect. Maybe I should have used the other one, but oh well. Okay, we're gonna go to Bamboo Island, and we're going. I'm gonna show you guys what I saw, and uh, and then we're also gonna look for that uh, pirate who crossed the the pirate code. We gotta get him back. You know, can't can't get away with that stuff. Not on our watch. Though I did realize it is nighttime, so um, yeah, we might be in trouble. I also didn't bring an axe, which is a problem. Uh, this is uh, concerning. Okay, I'm starting to think that I'm not prepared for this. All right, I think we found him, and I don't think I'm ready. <laughs> I, I hope, I, I mean, I have a good knife, but I'm, uh, we'll see. This is not good. This is not good. I'm nervous. It's like a labyrinth in here. Oh. Oh, I think I found him. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. Oh, 300 hit points. A gorilla. That is not what I was expecting to see. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Okay. That kind of freaks you out when you start a gorilla thing. Nice. Don't know what the purpose is, but it's still cool. Okay. That was a, that was a, we fought a gorilla. Nice. Gunpowder and leather, which we're needing a ton of leather right now. So that's pretty awesome as well. Ooh, a wheel lock pistol, 130 damage. Ooh, it shows the durability. I like that. I like that it shows the durability, the durability of the weapon. Does it show the durability of this? Durability two. I, that's awesome. I really like that they did that. Okay, well, this is a cool little cave. I was worried that I was going to die, but I didn't, so that, that worked out. Okay, so I've... Now, normally I would have brought an axe and stone. So we're going to have to make our own from, you know, just the stuff lying around, which is not as ideal, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Here we go. There's a lot of stone right there. All right, we're going to... There we go. There's our weapon. It's gone. Really don't want to use my uh, wheel lock pistol. Ooh, what's that? A map fragment. Use the clue to find Lunatic Rudder's hideout. Okay. Great. A piece of paper covered with directions and clues. Find more to complete. Okay. So we got to find more before we can actually find his hideout. That's fair. Okay, I need one more bamboo thing laying around. That looks like it. There we go.
All right, so this dark red usually means they're a little bit stronger, but what I really want to find again, what I found last time that I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's in every zone or not. How loud is this noise? Ooh, what's attacking me? What's attacking me? The bounty hunter. Oh, I just one shot at the bounty hunter. Oh, that's lame. Come on, I saw him wearing clothes. Okay. Hmm. Here we go, here's something. I don't know if coral is really worth a whole lot. I don't know. It was on the shipwrecked event. Map fragment, yes. Okay, do I put them? Where do I find, how do I put the map fragments together? Is there a way to craft a map? What is what is going on? What how do I why is this not intuitive? Okay. Find coordinates, eliminate target. Okay, well, I don't know how to it doesn't say how many I need. This is not good. This guy's stronger than me. I need to get out of here quick. Uh, okay. Whew. That was close. Okay, I have no clue how to connect these maps. M meld, mold. Tell you what, those, uh, those bandits will. The, or the, the AI characters will really eat you up fast in this game. That's what I'm already... <laughs> I'm like, the green zone's easy, but those AI characters come and, and you're like... <laughs> all of a sudden, you're about to die. Uh, let's see if he's still here. Oh, yep, still here. Okay, I'm, I'm out. Peace. Oh, wait, I have that gun. What am I doing? Okay, you know what? I'm going to kill him. I'm going to get that shovel, whatever he's got. We're going in. We're going to see if we can shoot the crap out of this guy before he kills us because he does a lot of damage quick. And um, Oh, I one-shotted him. But he has nothing. He has nothing. That is dang That is lame. Okay, well let's let's look around a little bit more. Might as well. Okay, so these green zones are very different. Uh, the last green zone had a ton of palm trees, and this one does not. This one does not have hardly any palm trees. So this is really interesting. This one has a gorilla cave, a bunch of these random unguarded uh, bodies. Okay, and so maybe the, okay, so the first time when we did that stone one, it was just a very different zone. So it seems like the devs of this game have decided they're gonna create a lot more variety uh, each time you go to a green zone because this definitely looks a lot different than the other ones we've been to. There we go. Okay. I might use it for this, if this is like a bigger iguana. A Komodo dragon. 
come on, bro. <laughs> two shots. You're done. Okay, two skulls again. Okay, I'm going to eat that. I need these, but I think these skulls are going to be important. Oh, I'll just eat these. All right. Another big Komodo dragon, I guess? Might as well, right? I love this gun. I really probably should be more careful with how I'm using it. Oh, wait. Here we go. Oh, maybe not. Sometimes you'll find a concentrated group. Yeah, these are just iguanas. Wow, there's a lot of iguanas here. There's like a little iguana farm. But it doesn't seem like... They're guarding anything. Ah, ah, no, 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 no. Too many iguanas. <laughs> okay, well, okay, so it looks like every green zone is a little bit different. It has a little bit more variety. In the one that I was really excited about showing you guys, it had a little camp of a bunch of guys guarding it and like a really big guy with a big mace. And uh, it was a lot of fun trying to kill them in that little fort. And then they had like a bunch of chests they were guarding. And so that was a lot of fun. Um, but obviously it's different each time. So we're going to go ahead and um, let's go ahead and bring this stuff home. Okay. Why w required for working... Leather, yes, that's. Do you want to cancel production? No, I don't want to cancel the production. Oh, I'm canceling it. Oh, come on. Okay, so don't send Pete <laughs> to an island because unless you aren't working on your workbenches because now my workbenches don't even work even if I'm manning them. I'm like, I'll, I'll sit here and do it. It's stupid. <laughs> workbench? My workbench won't work for me. Okay, well, that is really lame, but let's see how much he got done before we left. Um, we're going to... Oh, my gosh, what am I doing? Storage. We want uh, metal. Weapons. Cloth. Okay. Yep. Metal and cloth are on a holdup now. But I do need a lot more wood. Let's see what... Uh... Oh, that's crazy. So even my wood was held up. There we go. All right. Well, I did cancel that bow, so that should give us a little more wood. Let's see if we can build something now. Wait, it only gave me one wood back? I'm really confused how this works, but... Okay, we can build a metal storage now. So let's, let's build some metal storage. Uh, coral is considered metal. That is a little bit surprising to me. Okay, we have put things away where they need to be. Let's make, what's in this one? Oh, I forgot about that pistol. It's awesome. This simple knife, yeah, we'll just we'll take that. And we'll put this clothing in here. That'd be good. Can we upgrade this? Oh, yes. Oh, wow, you need a lot of stuff for this palm board. Alright. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to wait. I really, I really need a cloth storage, which uh, it looks like um, I'm getting close. Store okay, where's storage? Where's storage? Storage. Cloth storage. I need a lot more wood. Which, again, I can get as soon as my guy gets back. And I need four more of this. So I need six more of that and four more of that. Let's see if i am already got that kind of going. 
Okay, I got 10 of these. This is definitely not a problem. And then I've got four of these. And I'll go ahead and make a little extra. Um, so that's seven. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have enough as soon as Pete gets back. But I sent Pete on a long mission, which is really annoying. Um, but oh well. That's what can you do? I. I didn't know what I was doing. So that was a mistake. Um, so let's go. Uh, we can go check out the merchant. Uh, but, uh, well, that's going to blow through so much energy. Uh, we haven't really recovered all of our energy back yet. Yeah, look, Pete, <laughs> Pete's pete been going at it. He's still got 47 minutes before he's back here at the base. So that's really sad. But, obviously, he's not going to be here in this episode. Um, okay, I'm going to run to the trader, and if it's lame, then uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see what the trader has uh, available to us. All right. Found a merchant. All right. The merchant will give me an oil lamp. Cool. I already have an oil lamp, I think. Um, for... Scrap metal. That's cool. Ooh, I can buy an iron axe with coins. I didn't realize that the coins... Are coins... Okay, you can buy coins with real money. Okay, so all of these things that are purchasable by money, I can buy it like people can buy with real money. Okay. Two rope. Coral. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> I am very intrigued by this. So I need to remember metal parts, coral, any of those, which I have some, oil lamps, rope. All right, let's, let's try it. Let's try it, this is crazy. But this trader looks like it has good deals. See, I'm so used to some of the games where the traders just don't offer that great of a deal. Or if it's a good deal, it's like... All right, let's watch a commercial. Wait, the trader's gone? No. 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 No, I didn't know. Ah, oh, that drives me crazy. Those deals were so good. Ah. Oh. Oh, that hurts so bad. <laughs> why? Why did why did you leave me? Okay, let's uh oh, oh my goodness. This whole time I have not been I have not been affecting my benefits. Distribute free strap free stat point to damage. Yes, oh my gosh. I can now do so much more damage. Okay, what is spirit? To spirit. I, I'm... I'm not... Uh, okay, I gotta figure out what spirit is. Okay, I'm just gonna do one. <laughs> and we're gonna see what spirit even does before we do any more. Uh, but honestly, I really like damage. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be like Westland where you can basically just, <laughs> but this is, it's pretty OP to just be able to do so much damage with your fist or something like that. So let's see how much damage do you do with your fist. 20 damage. Okay. We'll check on Jimmy. Jimmy's doing good. Um, we got, we got a nice little set of clothing, which is good. And I'm saving these copper pickaxes for, uh, pickaxe and axe for whenever something says I, I need a better tool to, to use it. So hopefully they will be there. Okay, guys. Well, I'm a little stuck because I, I literally cannot do anything with my workbenches um, because Pete's not around to work them. And apparently I don't know how to work my own workbenches. I need Pete to be here to make that happen. And so... Uh, that's a little unfortunate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk or I'm just going to hit draw, drift over to the green zone again 
and I'm just going to log off for, I don't know, an hour or two, uh, maybe a day. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow and I will finish this episode uh, with with new energy and with Pete back at home so that we can actually have stuff to work with. Okay, so I had a good night's sleep and I'm sure my energy has been restored and I totally forgot about the daily rewards so I get a copper pickaxe. I'm assuming that that helps me get better resources later on. I'm just going to keep it in my inbox until that day comes. Uh, So uh, we're here at the green zone. Let's go ahead and look for some more map pieces. Uh, But then also, you know, Each green zone is different, so who knows what might be available in this green zone. I can't believe how many palm trees I found in that one uh, green zone that I I didn't record. Literally, I I got at least, you know, eight, ten palm trees. So, whereas some of these green zones have zero palm trees. Interesting. We'll see. Ooh, yes. Yes. Another map piece. I wonder how many we need to get. There's nowhere, it's not telling me how many map pieces we need. But hopefully we'll get enough eventually. Take all. Okay, well let's go back let's go back to the base and uh let's see if you know our workbenches are done now. Pete is now back home and he had time to do his chores. And so we're not gonna send him out again because that was a a huge mistake <laughs> sending him out because uh, we my I couldn't do my work benches. All right, but this should okay. Look, I am definitely getting. I'm definitely have a lot of the pieces of the map. Oh, join! Oh, we did it! We got the map. We only needed three pieces. Yes. Okay. Great. Uh, I'm going to first put away all of the stuff. Cloth. There we go. There's a lot of cloth. Fabric roll. I bet you all of that goes in there. Oh, wait. That bit probably goes in there, too. Now put that here. Herbal infusion. Let's try it. Store all. Look at that. We just say, We just created so much room for ourselves. That is beautiful. And let's read the map. Let's let's go. Let's do this. Hideout located. You have found the location of your bounty target. The, it is available on the map. Okay, let's gear up, guys. I I don't know if we're going to need to bring all of this you know, this good gear, but I want to be ready. I do not want to uh, come to this fight unprepared okay so we have a lot of armor i assume let's see our defense is 57 i have no clue uh what that actually means but i'm assuming it's good it's literally the best armor we have unless i have a better shirt do i have a better shirt oh i do have a better shirt i don't want to take it out of my inbox though um i do want to kill this guy oh wait no i want to I want to, that's the guy I'm going to get. Oh, we're going to get a sailor. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I want to be prepared. I do not want to lose this fight. I'm probably over preparing, but look how awesome I look. Look at that. Okay. I do want to get a melee weapon as well. Ooh, torch. I should bring a torch. That'll be my melee weapon. All right, guys, I am prepared to fight let's go kill this son of a gun who broke the fire the pirate code the hideout all right i want to start drifting because okay so it is nighttime right now i'm glad i brought the torch um i'm a little nervous that i didn't bring enough weapons but i just don't know all right well let's read the quest let's read the quest okay Rumor has it that Lunatic Radnor is bothering local merchants. Our reconnaissance says his lair is somewhere around here. Okay, he violated the pirate's oath by messing with the merchants. Okay, eliminate the target. You know what, we're just going to go for it. It's yellow. I don't know. I'm nervous. I just don't know if I have what it takes, uh, the resources. But 
I've got my best gear on, so if I can't beat him, then we're really in trouble. So, Oh, Lunatic Radnor, there he is. Oh my gosh. I think I got him, but yes. Quest updated. Okay, I need to heal. Report. What does report mean? I'm just going to follow the arrow. Where is his loot anyways? Thank you. I'll just catch my breath right here. Oh, is this Steve? Okay, complete. Goods were delivered to your inbox. Okay, where is my new sailor friend? Sailors, here we go. Applicant, Skinny Steve. All right. Uh, except, not enough births. Increase your number of births to increase the size of your team. What? Complete. Ooh, take all. Nice. I forgot about I forgot I sent him to the zone. <laughs> he came back with all that stuff. He came back with a lot more than Ugly Jimmy, so um if I can send him great, but okay, sailors. So I need to increase my births. And I don't want to delete I don't want to delete them. Uh okay, what is his bill he's got more health and he's got increased attack speed. That's cool. Okay, well, uh, we need to figure out how to get more births. Let's get more births. What, whatever that means. Bod projects? Births! Ha ha! I just need some brew. What? Made over the bonfire. Oh, I need berries. Okay, we need to go get berries. And we're going to build... A birth. All right, we are back home and we have what we need to build a birth. Let's brew two of these. Two minutes, no problem. We'll do some other stuff while we're waiting. Let's go over here and let's get 81 wood. This is awesome. Okay, we got to get four minutes going. Um, I'm going to cancel that. We're just going to do two minutes on on everything right now craft two minutes oh wait but he can only do one at a time I forgot about that so it doesn't really matter so we're gonna just cancel uh, yeah cancel production we are gonna make one of these though we'll get him to do that because that way we can uh, upgrade we want to upgrade our um, our bench what is what does that take yes we have what it takes yes we have it Let's go ahead and just upgrade it now. Warning, you won't be able to cancel the upgrade. Oh, wow. Basic floor is required. That's fine. Upgrade. Three hours. In three hours, we're going to have a, our first level two workbench. That is great. And then we're about to build a berth. Almost there. 57 seconds left. All right, Pete. You did it, Pete. Good job. All right, let's build a berth. Projects. Birth. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's so big. It's so huge. Okay, we gotta make this happen. Um Building floor. Yes. We can do it. Workshops. Move the dove coat. All right, dove code is moved. Oh wait, we gotta move this too. Oh my gosh, this is this is gonna look really ugly, but storage, move. This is gonna look really bad, but I am, I don't care. We're building the berth. We're we're gonna we'll move it next next episode. We'll move it around. Okay, we built it. Berths. 
Okay, it's a project. Oh man, we need palm boards. We need jute fabric rolls. We need an oil lamp. I think I have an oil lamp. We got rum. Okay, I think I have an oil lamp somewhere. I thought I did. Didn't I get an oil lamp from the... Um... There it is. Tin oil lamps. Okay. Rum. Alright, let's... They need an oil lamp. They need they need rum. That that makes sense to me. Uh, the palm boards is gonna come once our our thing is upgraded. Um, okay, so we need to work on this is gonna be a big project, but that's okay. We can we can make this happen. Store all. Wait, why do I still have ten oil lamps? There we go. Completed my first one. Okay, this is cool. I, I really like the way they've done the the, the tech tree, uh, so to speak, of, of how you advance. Um, I like, I love their storage system. It is amazing, and I really like the way you upgrade workbenches. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, that's something that, you know, DOZ kind of started with the upgrading workbenches, and I really like that. So bravo devs, I love the way you've set this up. I'm really excited about seeing where this game is going and, uh, and, and how advanced and in the game goes. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. All right guys, see you next time.